in the present video ray optics part 7 we'll be studying about simple microscope an optical instrument in this video we'll be talking about the construction of simple microscope the ray diagram that is how we get the image its magnifying power and expression for its angular magnification we'll also list some of the applications of the simple microscope a microscope is a device used to see minute or small sized objects. It is also known as a reading glass or a magnifying glass. So far as its construction is concerned, it is just a convex lens of short focal length. Normally a double convex lens is used. F4 denotes the short focal length of this lens. The object which we wish to observe is placed between optical center and principal focus of the lens. That is here in between these two points we will be keeping the object. The ray diagram, you have the lens, the object, a ray parallel to principal axis is known to pass through focus, another ray passes through optical center undeviated. These rays, the refracted rays, do not meet in this direction. However, we if we extend them back, they appear to meet here, which gives you the image. This is a virtual erect and magnified image on the same side of the lens. Now, for convenience and better uh, visibility of the image we try to get the image at the distance of distinct vision which is about 25 centimeter from the normal eye now for comparison of angular size angular size is the angle subtended by an object on the eye placed here for comparison of object size and image size the angular size is we take the object also at same distance that is distance of distinct vision so a to b this a to b1 is the object a b shifted to distance d at this distance d the object forms this angle a to o b1 on the eye whereas the image formed much larger angle a1 o b1 if you talk about working of this simple microscope, the object AV to be observed is placed between optical center O and principal focus F1 of the lens. The lens then produces a virtual erect and magnified image A1B1 on the same side of the lens. As stated earlier, for clear vision, the image is obtained at the distance of distinct vision capital D, normally 25 centimeter from the eye. Now let's talk about the angular magnification. For the purpose of definition, angular magnification or magnifying power of a microscope is defined as, please read this as simple microscope, is defined as ratio of angle beta, beta subtended by the image on the eye to the angle subtended by the object seen directly when both are placed at least distance of distinct vision. That is the angles alpha and beta are to be measured by keeping the object as well as the image at the distance of distinct vision. Mathematically magnifying power is beta upon alpha as object is small the angles alpha and beta are also small and can be replaced by their tangents. So beta over alpha is tangent beta over tangent alpha. From the diagram tangent beta is A1B1 over capital D or OB1 and tangent alpha is A2B1 over OB1 as you can see here. OB1 cancels out you get A1B1 over A2B1. A to B1 is same as object size AB. So you get 
magnifying power as image size i over object size o which is the magnification produced by a lens and is also given by v over u you can mark this equation as equation 1 using lens formula you have 1 over f equal to 1 over v minus 1 over u if you multiply this lens formula or equation 2 by v you get v over f v over f v over v is 1 minus v over u transposing you get v over u equal to 1 minus v over f v the image distance as you can see from the diagram is minus d applying the sign convention so v is minus d which gives you m is equal to 1 plus d over f here v is replaced by minus d which is the desired expression for magnifying power hence for larger magnifying power f should be small focal length f should be small the maximum value of magnifying power is about 25 if you need higher magnification we make use of compound microscope some of the applications of the simple microscope are it is used by watch experts to repair the watch it is used by detectives on some site which they want to study it is also used by skin specialists to observe bacteria etc and problems in the skin used as reading lens in general if you want to see a magnified view of a book it is also used in traveling microscopes to read the vernier scale thanks for watching the video if you have any feedback you can write to ikg54 at yahoo.co.in and for more topics in physics you can visit www.physicsbeckons.com thanks for watching the video